Well, we actually did apply one of our procedures to uh, the um, 1978 Camp David Agreement between Israel and Egypt, uh, which eventuated in a peace treaty in, in 1979. And there were several major issues uh, dividing Israel and Egypt, uh, return of the Sinai after the, uh, six, after the uh, 73 war, which had been captured in the 67 war. Uh, for Israel it was recognition, uh, diplomatic recognition by the Egyptians, and there were several other issues. And we assessed how important winning on these issues, getting one's way, was to Israel on the one hand and Egypt on the other. And we had uh, given these uh, attributions of importance, uh, use the algorithm to determine who would win on what issues. And it pretty much matched the uh, actual agreement, which took uh, many months to negotiate, actually many years. Um, and uh, we think it would have been a much more efficient way to use this procedure and have the countries uh, indicate their interest using the procedure. And then the procedure, the algorithm, would say, uh, who wins on what issues. And it also can be used in more mundane circumstances in dividing the marital property into divorce. Again, you indicate how important it is to get uh, the car, the house, the boat, the children, and so on. And uh, it tells who gets what. And what we found using these um, procedures is that um, most disputants can get between two-thirds and three-quarters of what they want because they want different things. So if you use an algorithm that does things fairly, makes the division what we call envy-free, so you don't envy what the other person got because you got at least as much, um, it makes it equitable so that you both get the same amount above 50 percent. Um, that uh, because uh, the parties want often different things, uh, they both can win. So we actually call this a win-win solution. But we give, more than that, an algorithm for making these, this division. Uh, so that's some of the work that we've done on fair division. And then we've done uh, more theoretical work. This is work primarily with Alan Taylor, a mathematician at Union College. Um, we've, uh, we came up with an algorithm for cutting a cake, uh, not just dividing uh, separate goods, like the house, the car, the boat, and so on. But what if the cake is something divisible, uh, like land? Uh, how do you divide the land uh, so that it satisfies these fairness properties? And we came up with a cake-cutting algorithm uh, that basically generalizes uh, the procedure everybody knows. I cut, you choose. That's for two people. One person cuts 50-50 in terms of his preferences, um, and the other person will choose one half or the other. But her preferences are likely to be different from his preferences. So she's going to say one piece is worth more than 50 percent, but he, the cutter, has protected himself by dividing it 50-50. So we're, I think, all familiar with that. But how do you extend that to three persons or four persons? So that's what the algorithm did, the cake-cutting algorithm. It's actually uh, very complicated, so we're not recommending this be used practically to divide cake. Uh, so we came up with other procedures that are more practicable. Um, and uh, NYU, my university, actually patented one of these algorithms. Uh, it's called adjusted winner. It's a point allocation algorithm. So I'm the only political scientist I know with a U.S. patent, <laughs> and it's an unusual patent. I think it was the first patent ever issued for a, a legal dispute resolution procedure. And um, now NYU has uh, licensed the patent uh, to a Boston law firm, and uh, a company has been formed called Fair Outcomes Incorporated that has a portfolio of these algorithms for settling disputes. Uh, and it's in its embryonic stage, so I can't report much on what has happened. Um, but I think that um, it's a better way to solve disputes than the usual uh, legal proceedings, which can be very costly uh, to the litigants. They end up paying the lawyers most of their fees. Um, and it's also usually quicker uh, to use an algorithm than to uh, either litigate or simply negotiate, sometimes over weeks, sometimes over months, uh, 
with a party you don't particularly get along with. Uh, so I'd like to see more of this uh, actually used. And I've talked to bar associations and lawyers groups about this. And um, well, some lawyers, of course, see their billable hours going down the drain if an algorithm is used rather than they're using their great negotiating skills. But others uh, see this as um, a procedure which would help them. Uh, and they could use their hours for more constructive purposes, advising people on how to use this algorithm well. Uh, it's a very simple algorithm. Uh, and to publicize it, we wrote this book, a popular book called The Win-Win Solution, uh, which has now been translated into six languages. So it seems to be attractive to people around the world. Uh, and we hope the company um, sells this idea and makes uh, dispute resolution less burdensome and trying for people. When I'm in birthday parties, not necessarily my own, I'm usually the one asked to cut the cake because I have done these kinds of things. But uh, no, it's a little too complicated if there are a lot of people. So I uh, am not recommending that this particular algorithm be used. But the one uh, that whereby you allocate points is very simple. It's applicable to basically two-party disputes. Those tend to be the most common. And we get some very nice properties out of it. We get uh, the fact that not only uh, is it envy-free, not only do, do both parties get the same amount, get uh, more than the other party, but they get the same amount, about 50 percent, and it's efficient, which means that there's nothing better for both of them out there. So it has these kinds of guarantees, which I think make the solution very attractive. And we've actually uh, tested this in the laboratory, um, and uh, it's been used in real life in a few cases, and it seems to work uh, very well. Uh, so we hope more people uh, come around to the idea that this is, I think, the way to settle disputes. The alternative, it's actually an area called Alternative Dispute Resolution, ADR, uh, tends to take a more psychological approach. Uh, there's a famous book called Getting to Yes by Fisher and Urey uh, that uh, says that if you communicate clearly, if you take a, into account the other side's interests, you both can win also. I think the problem is uh, that uh, this is kind of naive because people have strong incentives to exaggerate uh, or to posture in negotiations. And what algorithms do is prevent that. It's in your interest to be truthful, otherwise you may hurt yourself. In the absence of algorithms and in the absence of this kind of discipline given by an algorithm, uh, you can give advice that you should be honest and communicate clearly, but that might not be in your best interest. That might not be rational. Uh, so I think we need something more than what I'd call the feel-good approach. Mm -hmm.